Imagine an F-35 flying its last sortie at an altitude of 40,000 feet. No missiles, no radar, just a thin, invisible, and lethal laser beam. No warning, no electronic warfare. Three seconds and the expensive jet becomes a fireball. Sounds like science fiction. It's actually a spoiler for the coming decade of war. Is this the end of the era of air superiority or the beginning of a new algorithmic, not kinetic superiority? They didn't wait for a Netflix movie. The Iron Beam from Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has already shot down operational drones. The cost of each shot, not tens of thousands of shekels, not thousands, but about three shekels. That's less than parking in Tel Aviv. The United States, as always, tried it first. A laser aboard a 747 managed to shoot down a ballistic missile. And then the project collapsed due to budget constraints. Since then, they've been working on a miniaturized version. APCs, ships, drones with lasers. China's trying to launch lasers from submarines and to burn satellites in space. Russia claims it has an anti-satellite laser. Have we seen proof? Not so much. Have we seen presentations? Plenty. But don't get confused, lasers are getting stronger. In the United States, they're already talking about 300 and even 500 kilowatt beams. So yes, you do need a few seconds to focus, which is difficult when you're facing an aircraft with a missile making a 9G turn, but it's not science fiction. Scenarios in which a laser fired from the ground or a drone shoots down a lone plane have already been tested. It's no longer about neutralizing radars and entering at an angle, but planning a multi-layered attack. Drone swarms that detect and expose the laser systems, followed by medium-range rockets that hit infrastructure. And finally, if at all, the fighter jets can go to work. A type of cooking with heat rays, but not strategic. So, are the new F-35 planes on the way to the scrap heap? No, they aren't going anywhere, but they are going to change. A future fighter jet will be equipped with its own laser system, not to shoot down other planes, at least not yet, but to shoot down missiles aimed at it. Defensive superiority on the budget of a toaster. And the next stage? combat systems where lasers meet lasers. An iron beam ray will have to compete with a Chinese or Russian ray, a game of speed, trajectory, and algorithms. And for this, you don't need a good pilot. You need a good planner. The laser will be another card, sometimes the winning one, in basic future warfare. This is not the end of the air superiority era. This is the beginning of an era where the skies are divided. Not between nations, but between speeds. Projectile versus light. And whoever controls the light also controls the night.